Hi everyone. So this is Nicolo and my daughter Kaline. Uh, we're a family and we're very passionate about growing your own food. So we're gonna be sharing with you in this series of videos very basic things that you need to know to be able to grow food in your own backyard. Yes! So today we're going to be teaching you guys the three things that urban gardeners do wrong. So yes. without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first mistake that almost every urban gardener makes is just dumping their soil into a plot and putting the plants in and waiting for it to grow. But actually, there's a really there's a much easier way to get a stable so soil and it's a lot easier for the plants to grow and the plants will like it much more. So all you need is vermicast and cocoa peat. All you need to do is you have to put two parts of the cocoa peat and in the bowl in whatever mixing bowl, it doesn't matter, just any mixing bowl, and two parts of the vermicast. And then just have to mix it up and mix it up until, well, it's mixed, obviously. Okay, once it's fully mixed up, all you have to do is put it in your seed container. And then you're gonna wanna make a hole with your fingers, really deep, as deep as you can get it. And you're just gonna, this is an upa seed, into the pot and cover it up with the soil. Pat a little bit, but not too hard so that it doesn't get trapped. Okay, the last thing you need to do is actually you just have to pour water in and you're done! Okay, now the second biggest mistake urban gardeners do is they don't use clean water to water their plants. And I don't mean clean by there's no dirt in it. I mean that there's no chlorine in the water. And you're probably wondering, well, how do I get the chlorine out of the water? Well, it's actually really simple. All you have to do is just leave the water in a bucket and let it sit overnight and let all of the chlorine evaporate. So then you're just gonna stir the water for about five to 10 minutes and then when you're done, you can let it sit overnight and then the next morning, all of the chlorine will be gone because it would have evaporated into the air. Okay, so the number one mistake that every urban gardener has made is not enough sunlight for your plants. Well, of course you can start by growing your plants without that meant much sunlight, but once they get little saplings, like right here, once they get these little seeds popping out, these little shoots, you want to move them to a place with lots of sunlight. So we're going to go around the house and I'm going to show you places that could be, could work, or could not work, and you're just gonna have to guess, and I'll tell you if it would work or not work. Okay, so we're gonna go in. So the first place you would usually think of to put your plants are is a kitchen with a window. Well, this is, isn't that quite bad of a place to put your plants when they're still, when they still don't have leaves. But once they start growing, you have to move them to a sunnier area. Also, it isn't the best ideal place because there's a lot of heat coming from what you're cooking in the kitchen. The next place you would probably think of after the kitchen because you're thinking, oh, my, my room has a window too and it doesn't have up as much heat as the kitchen does. So you're probably thinking to put it in your room. And the same as the kitchen, there's a little bit of light here and just enough for the little seedlings to grow, but once they start growing leaves, your room isn't the best place at all to grow your plants. Okay, now we come to the lab to the best place you could possibly grow your plants if you're living in a condominium, which is your balcony. I mean, our balcony is a bit big because we do live in a house, but if you're living in a condominium, any balcony will work because it's outside, there's lots of sun, and it will work perfectly. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed. We hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, for more tips on how to do a backyard garden, subscribe and go. Um, check out our website. The websites and everything are linked down below. So if you have any 
Now, if you have any products you have in mind, they're probably in our website, so you can go ahead and check that out, downtoearth.com or well, Flower Depot. Okay, if you have other questions, please uh, send us a message. We're on Instagram. At Down to Earth. Yeah, at PH. Down to Earth PH. Um, also, give your comments. We would like to hear from you. Uh, till our next video. That uh, is very. Help you. <laughs> Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Close it. No, I don't actually close it. I need to go in. Okay. Now you say the outro. Why are you going out? You were supposed to close the door and then talk here and go. Thank you for watching.